What's up, everybody? 10-minute offense. Uh, we are filming on a Sunday night. I think it's the first time in a while we filmed at night, and we're going to talk about some baseball. I uh, just wanted to go over what you guys thought about, about Bauer with the little one eye closed thing. I guess he's done it in the past. Some people freaked out over it. Just touch super fast on it. You guys like that? Don't like it? It was very impressive. Very skilled because he did it for multiple batters. And he even had to laugh with a batter. I forgot who it was, but they had to share a laugh at it. Because it's just, it was like that Michael Jordan moment at the free throw line with the yeah, eyes closed. Eyes closed. Yeah. That's all I can do is laugh at it. I, I, to me, that was one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you hate him so much. What What are you doing, Trevor? Why? He, what what he, is the point of that? How does that train you at all for what you're actually going to be doing? It's I sent it to you guys. He, he, he said if he, <laughs> if he can strike you out with one eye open, then he should really be able to do it with two eyes open. Okay, so... Got so it. Was, Maybe I should start play, playing beer pong with one eye closed now. Yeah, that, that would get, that get was, me better. More in sync. <laughs> that, that was his thinking. So, yeah. Sticking with the Dodgers and, and Bauer, <laughs> uh, California, to get on this COVID thing real fast, uh, they've agreed to allow fans in attendance uh, at games starting April 1st. So it looks like the Dodgers are looking at 20%. Uh, fans just real fast would you guys like are you guys down to go what, how do you guys feel about that without getting too political oh, I'll, <laughs> I'll be willing to go Dodgers if you have any tickets hit me up my guy <laughs> <laughs> let's go yeah let's let's get in there man there's never been any super spreader crazy COVID spreading event linked to outdoor events or the beaches or anything so it's going to be safe we're going to be fine they're going to figure out how to manage it yeah i'll, I'll be there for sure i don't yeah. know what the ticket prices are going to be that's like, what but... i was going to that would be my only thing because people are going to be spread out you know it's not, yeah but no yeah so that, that was my only thing is just wondering you know no concession just... stands i didn't know that yes sir yeah no concessions but also because it's no beer for... No, I guess not. No. It's safe. It's not like you can't drink in the car. I don't want you to take your mask off, I don't think. Wow. Okay. Maybe I won't go. <laughs> I mean, I'm staying, <laughs> I'm staying home, but not because of COVID, just because, you know, I feel like prices are going to be nuts because it's only 20% occupancy. Mm -hmm. that's so yeah, funny. that's the thing. Mm -hmm. um, so then the last thing, well, not the last thing, I got a, I got a fun game at the end. But I wanted to do preseason awards. You know, I know it's, it's hard. Some of, some of these categories. So if you guys want, I can start off uh, with with manager of the year for the AL and the, <laughs> for the AL and the NL. I know it's tough, but with baseball coming up, you know, I got baseball is tough in general. So. <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> Two different leagues. So sure. I'm gonna stump you. I I, I picked for AL. Charlie Montoya, okay. He's he's okay. your boy Ryan's brother. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, he's he's the Blue Jays manager, and the reason why I picked him is because when I'm sure before the season starts in a couple weeks, that's who I'm picking to win the AL East. So wow, yeah, Whoa. yeah. Wow. They made the playoffs last year, lost to the Rays. Mm -hmm. They signed George Springer. Simeon, they got Kirby Yates from the Padres, so they made some good moves. Uh, yeah, no, they so. did. And then NL manager, I had to go with Tingler from the Padres. Pains me to say it, but you know everybody knows how great they did last season. They they had a ton of big moves. They picked up great pitching, you Snell, a bunch of guys. So I just see them doing well. Who who you guys got for that? <laughs> or you want? I hate to hear it, but. <laughs> no i'm gonna go with don mattingly dude just shout out to an ex-dodger manager wow. hey, you know like he's that. still down there in miami they had a bunch of covid problems last year so if they could clean that up maybe for real maybe they'll uh win the nl east who knows yeah, you never know but, man you know i'm going with dave roberts best got to <laughs> they're gonna <laughs> post some ridiculous numbers during this season so I'm gonna give Dave that credit. The only thing, yeah, I, if, I, if they like 
go ahead, Z. No, no, no. Sorry. Uh, think- if, they, if they somehow win 120 games, that's exactly, you got to give them like. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> words. So, so yeah. Do you guys have AL wins or, or, or nah? I know, I know we're not AL dudes. Uh, I picked a random guy. I'll go with uh, uh, Brandon Hyde, who's the manager of the Orioles, just because. Oh, man. Yeah. I don't know. They're in a rebuild. And <laughs> I didn't say who's your long shot. Long. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. And I'm going to go with Joe Madden. Oh, oh that's angels. another long shot. But, <laughs> but uh, I got one for you later that connects to the Angels. So not bad, not bad. <laughs> All right, AL Rookie of the Year. I never could pronounce his name right during the playoffs last season. Randy Arozarena. So the rule to be wow. rookie to be rookie of the year is the the season prior you can't be on a major league club for more than forty five days. So last season, not counting playoffs, he played twenty three games, and his stats were nuts. He batted two eighty one, uh, eighteen hits seven homers, 11 ribbies, and 15 runs. So Yeah, he tore it up in the playoffs, too. And then he had, what, 10 home runs or something? So, And then NL, uh, we talked about him kind of in between shows. Cabrian Hayes from the Padre, uh, the excuse me, the Pirates. Um, He's got a pretty cool name, I got to say that. He does, the way it's spelled and everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He's 24. He only played 24 games, but his stats, 32 hits, 17 runs five homers, 11 ribbies, and batted 376. So I, I'm not that guy saying I know every rookie out there, but it's hard to not pick him with those. Yeah, well, I'll go with the Rosarena too, and then – well, I guess Ian Anderson. I mean, he was great last year for the Braves. Obviously, I know him from that series, but it's so weird. In baseball, you can be a 24-year-old rookie. And what other sport does that happen? Even more uh, – Arozarena well, played a season already. Oh, he play, yeah, he played a season. Arozarena uh, is 26, and he played. Oh, he's 26. You know, yeah, he played with the Cards, and then he played last year with the Rays. It's just that he met the requirements. You could legit be, you know, a 30 year old rookie. <laughs> so it's a little, it's a little different um, than than like the NFL or NBA. So. All right, AL Cy Young. Who you guys got? AL Cy Young. Well, what's Severino's deal? Is he gonna? Is he healthy? Is he ready to go? Because I'll I'll take him from the Yankees. You could take him. I don't. I, I'm not picking the Yankees to to do anything. <laughs> well, we all hate the Yankees. I think I've got ex Dodger finished third last year in Cy Young. Ryu. Five and two last season, under 2.7 ERA, 72 Ks. And like I told you guys, I got the Blue Jays winning the East. So if they're going to. Which is in a tough division, though. Yeah. I just feel like if I'm picking them to win that division, he's he's going to be a big part of it. So that'd be excellent. Who you got, Jules? I'm going to stay. You know me. I'm staying local for the NL. I knew you. Oh, for the, for the NL or AL? Uh, or NL. Okay, okay. But you know, I want to go with a Dodger. I'm trying in my mind. I have three. I have three of them. So I'm just trying to. Pick. <laughs> we're we're lucky here. Like go. <laughs> honest, I I like I would go with Walker and like have him add that accolade to his title since uh, Clayton and uh, Bauer has one. So I want to. I would say uh, Bueller for Cy, NL Cy Young. You better not get shelled like you did today, then. Oh, that's true. He got my line, but. Nah, who doesn't love Walker Bueller except Padre fans? Who you got, Javon? NL Cy Young. Hmm. Well, he's got to get a lot of innings, so he can't, you know, this isn't like a three or four inning guy. What about Kershaw? What if he has a flashback year? You know, he's riding under the radar now in a rotation where he could have two pitchers ahead of him. I'm going to go with Kershaw. He might not have the big strikeouts, but have a low ERA and get a bunch of wins. And for some reason, wins matters for the Cy Young. I don't know why, because it, it doesn't really determine whether you're a good pitcher or not. I like it. Um, I also think he'll get some some rest. So he, he might not stack all the numbers, but 
you know, he might have some crazy like 15 and two record or something. Yeah. Yeah. I, I went with DeGrom. I think the Mets are going to be Jacob. solid. He's always a beast. He won two years in a row, a couple years back. Um, his ERA was under 2.4 and he had uh, over a hundred K's in a, you know, a shortened season. Yeah, dude's a stud for sure. Yeah. <laughs> we got uh, like four minutes left, so we'll do AL and NL MVPs. Uh, I did stay local. Uh, I got Mookie Betts for the Dodgers. 292, 16 homers, 39 ribbies, 10 stolen bases last season. And I picked Mike Trout. Uh, he's kind of like the LeBron James, he could win it every year, but his team doesn't win. But I'm giving something away when we do our preseason picks. I've got the Angels uh, making the wild card. So Trout's a beast every single season. So that, that's my Yeah, he is for sure. Just to piggyback, honestly, I was going to pick Mookie Betts and Mike Trout. Just for Mookie, he has a full season, 162 game season, and we see what he's what he's done in that. And the stats that you just said, what he did in the shortened season, is very impressive. And Mike Trout is always up in that rank for the AL, just with his numbers across the board. Yeah, and for both those guys, I didn't even talk about their defense. So, you know, that. <laughs> Go glove too. Yeah. No, that factors in for sure. Mookie got to go with them. We're going to go trifecta there, all three of us. <laughs> and then for AL MVP, I'll switch it up. And, and just to uh, needle Steve here, go with Aaron Judge. Why? I don't. Why are you needling me? I got no problems with Judge. I love that. Oh, I thought you said I'm not picking any Yankees or. Oh, yeah. no, I'm not. But it's not because, like, I don't. I don't hate him or anything like that. We're becoming like an anti East Coast sports show. No, if you pick it, if you pick <laughs> an, an Astro, I would have issues. So yeah, but yeah, even an ex Astro. Yeah. Well, I did say Blue Jays, and they have an ex Astro, but that's about as far as it goes. <laughs> so we got we got a couple minutes left. I got this game. It's it's the LA edition. It's called Take Your Pick. Okay, so. I'm going to go like rapid fire um, has to do with Dodgers, Angels, mostly Dodgers. There's a, there's a couple of angels in there. Um, so I'm going to name two players and you tell me who you'd rather have um, on, on, on your team if you were starting a team. So, okay. We'll start with Javon. And, yeah. And then we'll piggyback and then it'll go to Julian and I'll go back to back on Julian. So gotcha. We're going to start Javon Kenley or Gratterall. Wow. Quick, quick. This is already can't, tar- can't tough. Think, no uh, explanation. Gratterall, Gratterall, Gratterall. All right. Julian, you, Kenley or Gratterall? Kenley. All right. Julian, JT or Max Muncy? JT. Javon. JT. JT. All right. Javon. I have Bellinger, his jersey, man. Come on. <laughs> Bellinger or Seeger, Javon? Cody. Jules, Bellinger Seager. or Seeger? Seeger. Seeger. All right. Uh, staying with Javon. I mean, uh, with Julian. Walker or Kershaw? Kershaw. What about you, Javon? Kershaw. Kershaw. <laughs> All right. Now I got a weird one for you, Javon. <laughs> I, I think I know who you'll pick. Trevor Bauer or <laughs> Shohan Otani? My, <laughs> he's a pitcher batter, so I wanted to Get some angels in there. Sorry, Trevor. Okay. <laughs> Who you got, Jules? I got I gotta go with Mr. Drone, Trevor Bauer. All right. <laughs> Last one. Uh bets. This is for Julian. Bets or, or trout. Oh. Wow. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Bets. Dodgers. 20 Mookie seconds. Bets. Mookie bets. Mookie bets. All right. I'm glad I didn't have to answer those. I just came up with them. <laughs> Anyway, that was got, tough. We got 20 seconds left. That was fun. Hope you guys watch the show and like it. We will uh we'll be back with the NFL show. Peace. Late.